So what is a logical starting point for introducing a simulation-based education program in your facility? First, a didactic basis, such as the stable program curriculum, is the first step before practicing with simulation. The goal is for caregivers to demonstrate understanding of post-resuscitation care principles and to also practice clinical decision-making while at the same time managing challenging behavioral and technical components of these time-pressured emergencies. Another key point is that teamwork is an important component of the stable simulation curriculum. We work in a dynamic environment with a variety of professions including physicians, specialists, nurses, respiratory therapists, pharmacists, social workers, etc. Therefore, when we train with other disciplines, we practice realistic team interactions. Ultimately, this will increase our understanding of how other professionals view and process information while responding to a clinical situation. You will find that the stable scenarios all involve interprofessional participant roles, and we strongly believe that those roles should be filled whenever possible by people who work in that discipline. To expect a nurse to play a doctor or a doctor to play a nurse will dilute the intended effect of the simulation. Another benefit of simulation-based education is that it offers an opportunity to purposefully introduce challenging behaviors and communication that we occasionally encounter in the workplace, yet we have limited opportunity to practice how to resolve those situations. For example, in simulation, we can script confrontations that involve intimidation or errors that would lead to patient harm. And then the interprofessional participants can practice what they've learned with regard to communicating under pressure or, for example, how to activate the chain of command. The ultimate goal of the stable program simulation-based education is to improve patient care and safety. We now have an opportunity to take what we learned didactically and practice in the safe environment of a simulated scenario. This dynamic way of learning will translate to more effective handling of challenging clinical situations and emergencies when they are encountered.